Golden Rain Foundation has been doing a lot of work lately here to give us an update on everything that's going on. We welcome the President, Bunny Carpenter. Thanks for being here this morning. Thank you. So let's get into it. What are some of the latest things that we're gonna kind of jump into and what's, what's the Golden Rain Foundation been doing? One of the things that the Golden Rain Foundation is gonna be doing is, uh, I was sitting here and, and thinking about it, but uh, our greatest achievements recently was how we order vehicles. Okay. okay. Um, in the past, uh, we had to go to uh, the committee, mm -hmm. and the committee was approving each each vehicle that we bought. Now, understand we have about 144 mm -hmm. vehicles just for you know uh, a year. Mm -hmm. That's not the total amount of vehicles that we have. It's large. So anyway. Um, we started working with Sourcewell, and, uh, which is a firm that does the purchasing for you. Mm -hmm. And so now we uh, have, have the committee will approve the specification once a year, and staff will go ahead and order uh, the vehicles when they need them. And what this does is cut out a lot of red tape in order to get these, um, these vehicles ordered. But the other big thing that uh, happened yesterday, or yesterday, especially at the MNC meeting, was the approval of the scope for Clubhouse One. We've been working on that for so long. And, um, and, and that's the beautification of Clubhouse One? Clubhouse One, yes. I mean, beautification, we've, we've gone through um, interior designers. We've gone, I mean, it's just taken us a <laughs> long time to get there. And so now it's in the hands of MNC, and the scope, I can tell you, <laughs> it's about <laughs> this big, but uh, it, it is an achievement, and um, it really made me feel good that we had an opportunity to get that passed. Um, the other thing uh, that is so important and everybody's interested in is the space planning. Okay. So. I think uh, most people know the story. Mm -hmm. uh, this, the building E is basically our maintenance building. Mm -hmm. And we had security and maintenance and um, um, moisture intrusion. We had several departments that stayed there. <coughs> but the building was so bad that we just couldn't keep those employees in there any longer. All right, so this is kind of a study to see where <coughs> we can move them feasibility-wise, space-wise. Right, and so we have that report in that it was done by the Austin Company, and um, on January, j sorry, June 29th, we will have a meeting and basically show that uh, to the corporate members. It's an open meeting, and it is a show and tell. That's all it is, a show and tell. This is what we came up with. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really excited you know, basically to uh, present that to the corporate members. Okay. And you have some slides for us. We kind of wanted to maybe go through some of the slides, some of the information on the slides. And right, And if you want to yes. jump into some of those, I know that we, yes. there's, it's, a, it's quite a full, full agenda you guys have going on there. The work seems to be endless. <laughs> it is endless, believe me. So. so we got an update on the dues that are going on? Well, one of the things that's happening right now, and everybody knows, we're going through a budget, mm -hmm. okay? And um, I thought it would be a good time to talk about the dues because there is such a misunderstanding as to what is GRF dues. Mm -hmm. uh, GRF collects the dues for the housing and for GRF. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so many people out there think that all that money goes to GRF mm -hmm. and it doesn't. Right. So I just wanted to clarify a little bit, you know, that it's GRF members, they, uh, there's a collection right now is uh, $221.31 out of your monthly dues. Mm -hmm. And that's collected for the GRF membership. And uh, we are at the point right now that we are looking at what the dues is gonna be for next year. So last year, uh, we were able to have a surplus of ten dollars mm -hmm. and so they only re raised the dues something like three dollars and 81 cents okay. well we don't have that surplus this year but uh we do expect to have some surplus that we'll be able to bring down right 
Yeah, yeah and those certain though in the and people need to understand the inflation that went on between the last year. And, I mean, I can I imagine that ate up a lot of what the projections were. When you do these budgets, you're a year out in some, a lot of cases, and maybe sometimes even more, trying to say what are the costs going to be, and it was really hard to predict those things. It really is. If you look at the chart and you see how much the GRF dues, you know, that part of that is for, um, <clears throat> is for employment, employees. And it has, um, I think the last time we looked, it was about 65%. Mm -hmm. And that keeps growing because, because of the cost of uh, raising the rates. Mm -hmm. um, and I have to say that we try to keep up with, with inflation we because we really value our employees. I, I have to say that. But then we also have... <laughs> everything else that we need to cover sure you know uh, you can see over here what mm -hmm. what GRF oversees mm -hmm. um, it's a lot yeah right and 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 it's just you know and pe there's also some a lot of transparency in that if people really have questions they can go to the website they can look at the numbers themselves right they're all there they are all there they are in the green book and I encourage everybody mm -hmm. to go to the website and basically look at, uh, you, can, you can see it by department, basically, mm -hmm. on, on the uh, expense. Mm -hmm. And I, I have to tell you how important it is uh, for these facilities to be kept up. Right. If everybody just doesn't want to spend money and they don't want to keep it up, you're going to see a deterioration in our community. Right. Right. And, and that's the important thing. Communities without HOAs, when you go in there, you know, because there is no, there's no standards. There are no, you know, in terms of maintenance and yards and your homes and parking on the street and all the kind of things that HOA kind of does behind the scenes. And it just, you think it's automatic, but it's really not. No, it isn't. And I think our, our recreation, you know, is really great. Mm -hmm. And we here at this community cover everything you know, sports, uh, our our recreation, our 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 entertainment, right. everything is for all ages. And what I'm understanding is that the average age uh, for uh, coming into our community. Well, we well it was 78 the mm -hmm. average age, and I understand that now it's 72. So you're seeing more and more younger people come into mm -hmm. the community. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's important that we keep it up. <laughs> right, and then we have a graph here. I think I was just looking at it earlier. Operations and maintenance, costs associated with landscaping, utilities, repairs, general upkeep, common areas, swimming pools, clubhouses, fitness centers, recreation areas. We want those to be wonderful. We want those to be safe. We want them to be upkept and those kinds of things. Right. And that just, that just costs money. Those are the realities. <laughs> they are the realities, and I'm glad that we have an opportunity to actually talk about it today. Mm -hmm. Because again, I, I have to say, you know, w the dues will be raised this year. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I'm sure that if everybody understands the money that we have to spend and actually how conservative GRF really is with the money that we have to spend, mm -hmm. Um, that they will, you know, want to vote for that, for that uh, increase. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's, and, and it's not like this is an outside entity. These are folks who live here. You know, you're looking out for yourselves. When you spend this money, you're spending your money. A That's, lot of right. Times. <laughs> That's right. That's so right. Being good steward. So let's go over some of the other expenses that we're talking about here of security, emergency services. That's, that's a big, that's a big thing too. And those are people, you know, that's, that's people and those are that, those are expenses that are real. And you have to really look at what security does in this community. Mm -hmm. We have a very large uh, security department. Right. And um, they help keep us safe. That's the biggest thing. They help mm -hmm. keep us safe. And uh, GRF basically has uh, direct oversight, you know, for security as is, mm -hmm. is uh, part of their responsibility. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And then there's other community services, just like wellness, education programs, those things that GRF oversees too, right? Right. Uh, we, recreation has, 
is taking on more and more as far as uh, our exercises classes and things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, We do have a lot of education also by Saddleback, Mm -hmm. which I've in the past attended these classes and they're just wonderful. And uh, uh, one of the big expenses is lifeguards. Lifeguards, we, we tried one time to reduce some of the lifeguards Mm -hmm. and the community had a fit (laughs) you know we're old people you got to keep us (laughs) safe we want a lifeguard at every pool so yeah that's all i mean that's all ages that's just simple that's just that's just smart that's being responsible really right yeah and um you know some of the other things like um that you guys are upgrading there's there's technology to upgrade and we all want to have the modern stuff so i mean that that tech is does not come cheap Oh, my gosh. Well, this year it's been um, <clears throat> really a challenge. We sp- we've spent a lot of time on technology. Um, the biggest thing that was passed, not just recently, but last, I think it was last year, is um, the, the ERP, which is the Village Operating System. Mm-hmm. And once that operating gets system gets in, there'll be more efficiency in regards to being able to buy your tickets, being able to, you know, just for, and for staff, you know, it'll mm-hmm. be really good for staff. It's not something that everybody sees, but it, it's something that is so needed, and eventually they will be able to see the efficiency of, of that. Now, we're, we are in the point that possibly by the end of the year, they will start installing that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's a big one. Mm-hmm. and. Um, And then we have the website. So uh, in this next month, uh, the website, the vendor, the selection of the vendor. There's a relaunch on the way for this website. The big deal, right? It is a big (laughs) deal. Yes. Yeah. It's a big improvement. Uh, Basically, the website before was a patch together. Mm -hmm. And so it's a very strong feeling recommendation based upon the people that have that skill set mm-hmm. uh, that is a very nef- necessary to do in order to keep up with the laws for one thing, the ADA requirements, and also for ease of reference. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when you talk to folks about why we have HOA fees and what, what is the value? What, what kind of thing do you turn, t- tell them in terms of value of having an HOA and, and, having, and have, paying those monthly fees? It is so important. One of the biggest values is our property values. Mm-hmm. Okay. When we have our, our property is well maintained, Okay, it creates a positive impression and enhances overall aesthetics of the neighborhood. Right. It just, when you come into this community, you know, you you feel like we're all here for the same reason. We're all here to enjoy the last part of our life. And and it just makes a, a very good impression when our community is well kept up. So the other thing is a community uh, cohesion, mm-hmm. which is that what that regular maintenance, you know, ensures these areas are safe, clean, inviting, promoting a sense of community, and encouraging residents to engage with the with one another. Mm-hmm. So um, if if it if it can lead if we, if if our community is neglected. It can lead to dissatisfaction of my homeowners and decline of community spirit. And I really have to speak to that because of the fact that there are so many people out there that says, keep our dues low, don't spend money, uh, don't, don't keep up the clubhouses, you really don't need to do that, you really don't need to paint this year. But if you don't do it, it costs you more in the long run. Right, absolutely. And that, 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 that deferred maintenance is a really big deal when you're looking at 
poorly lit streets, cracked sidewalks, and that kind of. And then who wants to go out at night, or who wants to walk these sidewalks? And so, if it's not inviting, you're not going to have that that spirit of community where people are out there and using the facilities, feeling safe in the community, and all those things. That's a really part of why most people moved here in the first place. Right. Yeah. And then, and this is a wonderful gated community. So. Um, what we're also talking about is resident satisfaction. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it, it's, it's the fact that when they come here, they expect a certain quality of life. They mm -hmm. expect a certain, you know, aesthetics. And, um, and by keeping it up, paying your dues. <laughs> I have to say that again, paying your dues. You know, the residents are happy, you know, with the condition of their community. It fosters a positive living environment, mm -hmm. and it can mm -hmm. continue. Uh, it's it's long term residency and resident involvement. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and there's just the, there's just the reality of, of if you want nice things, if you have nice things, if you want to keep those things up, the things the very things that attracted you to the community. You can't come in now and say, well, I don't want to pay for those things. But <laughs> and I think that's probably the, 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 the thing that a lot of folks don't understand about HOAs and the standards that, they, that they, they have. What are some of the biggest misconceptions you would say that when people ask you questions about HOA and why our dues are this and why we do these things, what are some of the things that you would say that they mostly don't quite get right or don't understand? They really don't understand the cost, mm -hmm. OK? And uh, I, I have to tell you that a friend of mine and myself, we, we went to Texas and we uh, went to see several different home, homeowners, so 55 plus communities, and some of the biggest in Del Webb. And, um, and so we came back and um, realized what, even more, what a value you have here. Mm -hmm. You. People that think our dues are high, that's what they say, our dues are high. Our dues are low uh, for what we get. Mm -hmm. We get TV, we get water. And those new communities out there, they don't provide the upkeep that we get, you know, like the, the outside of our, our buildings. Right. When you go into a new 55 plus, you take care of that whole building. You take care of the lawn and everything in front of your, your facility. And I can tell you, they do not have a pack. They do not have large Clubhouse 5, you know, mm -hmm. in order to have the entertainment that we have. Right. And that's the thing. And then one of the most important things, I think, is um, those reserves. The reserves are so important because things happen. A pipe breaks, a roof suddenly, you know, there's leaks and those kinds of things with all the storms we had last year. Right. Uh, and those are the realities of having a strong reserve. And, and HOAs, they'll let those reserves kind of dip down or are in real trouble when there's, oh, we need to do a repipe or things like that. So those are one of those kind of emergency things that is also important to have a healthy reserve, right? Yes, and GRF has a healthy reserve. Mm -hmm. And we also had uh, a reserve study which is in the Green Book, mm -hmm. uh, and everybody can look at it. We're lucky to have um, Jim Hopkins on our board, which is a very skilled financial analyst, and he basically put it together for us, okay, as to what dues we should be paying every month that would take care of all of our expenses for the next 25 years. and. Uh, and so because of that, our dues are in good shape. Real, our reserve, I'm our sorry, reserve. our reserve is in very good shape. Well, that's been, that's a wonderful talking to you, Bunny. Thank you so okay. much for coming in. Bunny Carpenter, president of GRF, thank you very much. You are watching This Day on, uh, on Village Television, and we'll be right back with some announcements and a recap of the weather.